Chip John, a.k.a. Thor. Hey, I'm going to say this real... I always say that real quick. It never is real quick. Upon me sits a mantle. Okay? When I was a little boy... Okay? When I was a little boy... Now I am talking a lot about this thing called racism. Okay? It's not something that's screaming and loud and alive a lot. Often it's very, very quiet. Very, very quiet. Okay? Sometimes a whole race is quiet with the racism. Even though to one little boy, it was loud as could be. Now, in the 70s, there was black people and there was white people. There was black people and there was white people. There was not a mulatto. The black people hated me and the white people hated me. So I sit here and go, oh man, that's a heavy thing for a kid to have to live with, you know. By the, I, it took me 13, 14 years to actually like who I was because of my race. And I always wondered how a grown man would handle it. Well, actually, I'm in Oregon right now. And guess what? In Oregon, there's black and there's white. And there's Hispanic. And there's black and there's white. And there is no mulatto. So guess what? I have not been handling this very well, I come to realize. All right? But, yeah, I'm not black. I'm not white. I'm mulatto. Man. I'm mixed. I am very unique in the sense that I've seen hate from both sides. So when I talk about racism, I don't come from a place of hate at all. Okay? At all. Because that little boy, he didn't hate nobody. How can a little boy hate people? Unless he's taught it. My dad marched with King, so he surely did not teach me hate. Right? But the world hated me. Boy, the world hated me. Beat up. Boy, the black people would beat me up worse than the white people would. Because the black people were so mad that I was in the white man's house. And this little black man, this boy beat me so hard. And there was no reason behind it. Other than the fact that I lived, and he heard that I lived in the white man's house. So he came from D.C. and he just beat me into the ground. I told my little sister, I said, how many fights you been in? She's like, no, no, no. I said, yeah, and never really been in a fight, right? I'm like, I was in 300 fights before the age of 12. And it's not because I'm a rebel or a hardcore. Maybe a little bit because I'm a, a, a little bit of a, um, I uh, can be ornery <laughs> as a kid. But I was hated as a kid. It was hard, man. And now here I am sitting and like I'm dealing with the same quiet thing. So I'm not going to bring that up now. But so I wanted to say when I talk about racism, I'm not hating anybody. When I say hick, nig, uh, you know, white people, black people, the only people I'm mad at is that rich 1%. They need to be smacked around a little bit. They ain't getting no 9 and 3, 4 and quarter cookies no more. They're supposed to be getting 7 cookies and we're supposed to be getting 10. That's how the American people set things up in 1970. But everybody forgets these things. So, alright. Peace, y'all. And peace up means something. Every day. It's inside of you already. It's a dream, man. It's hope. Alright. Much love. Amen. I'm sorry. And uh, however you would like to say it. Or just say, hey, have a nice day, man. Cool, yo, hey. Eh? <laughs>